project um, from our own Tisha Leo Rafter, who wasn't able to be here this evening, but it sends his best wishes to, to Farhan and, and the team. So you'll hear from Farhan very uh, soon. She'll talk to you about Diversin, but in case there's anybody who's not familiar with it, Diversin is a global diversity and inclusion embassy. It's a platform for diversity and inclusion that brings people together from very different backgrounds to create better workplaces. And it gives voice to people who are underrepresented, groups that are underrepresented, and it gives them the opportunity to raise their issues to a, a global level. So uh, before I introduce you to Yvonne from KBC Bank, who are our sponsors here this evening, um, I just want to let you know our hashtag for this evening is uh, celebrating diversity. So hashtag celebrating diversity. So I'm going to hand you over to Yvonne. Thank you. Um, good evening, everybody, and really welcome here to KBC. We're absolutely delighted to be um, involved with the event this evening. Um, I suppose just a couple of introductions before we um, kick off. Um, in KBC, our sustainability program is the core of our business. Um, so an event like this is an excellent opportunity to showcase the diversity awareness within our workforce in KBC. Um, tonight we're obviously uh, celebrating the launch <coughs> of Diversin, and it, I suppose it's brilliant to have met for a at a couple of events recently and, and have gotten to know her and the passion that she has for what she does. Um, so I suppose it would be uh, remiss of me not to, um, uh, I suppose, call out the accolades that she's recently received, um, being honoured with uh, the Global Goodwill Ambassador title, so absolutely well done on that. And um, I know the, the work that you've been done that you've done with the website as well that you've gotten the international diversity and inclusion role model in business as well. So um, I hope you really enjoy this evening, and we're absolutely delighted to have you all here. And I'll hand you over. Me either. <laughs> um, 
I also realized that after working many years in, in tech companies, I never see a, a, a manager in tech companies like me. That was, that was something really, really important because I wanted to see people like me who, where I, I do work so that I could be taken and uh, moving on on my career later on. So this was really, really critical. So I did a little bit research and see what was the, uh, the figure globally in tech companies. So this is what I found. Only less than 12% of boardroom members in tech companies were uh, women. And when it comes to women with different ethnicity and different skin color, this was down to 3% globally. So this was so shocking and I couldn't believe and I, after that, getting involved in different organizations, I realized this is not only a gender issue. However, having people um, having a different ethnicity, sexual choice, or maybe a religion, uh, to, in relation to anybody's uh, identity, could leave them stop not to be promoted on their careers. And this is absolutely not, not acceptable. Um, expecting somebody to live their own identity at work is a crime of humanity. This is what I see it as. And I had to do something about it. And later on, I um, have a look at how diversity organizations were doing globally. They were either very localized with regions, for example, the US market or um, UK market, or maybe they were um, down to small groups of um, uh, minors, for, for example, women in tech, LGBT, they all you know, focus on, on their own work. And um, I strongly believe that diversity must start from diversing, um, from that to diversify uh, the diversity groups itself, to bring people's uh, experiences together to make an equal workplace and happier workplace for anyone, anywhere in the world. So this is how uh, diversity actually started. Um, we call diverse in as a global diversity and inclusion embassy. We are all ambassadors, and we had to uh, we had to present our own identity at some stage. We become the voice of unheard, unrepresented people and we take their issues to global level organizations. We have currently 18 ambassadors from five different countries for diversity who are helping with their specific um, areas of expertise, women in tech, LGBT, disabilities, uh, culture and et ethnic and more. I would like to thank everybody here with all of your experiences that's made diverse in. So I'm really, really grateful to have all of you. Um, what we do as well is we all sit down and define diversity standards for global companies. Uh, I would like to also uh, give some updates from our work. We have been nominated for the best diversity uh, resource by an international organization called I Inclusive Companies. And uh, I have been honored with a diversity and inclusion role model <coughs> in sport, and have been also nominated to um, two other uh, internationally recognized uh, awards. And I'm, I'm really delighted to, to see that how people are very uh, excited to, to, um, to support this initiative. Also, I would like to say that uh, we are hopefully launching new chapters in London and in Silicon Valley soon. We have two ambassadors based in Silicon Valley who are very excited to launch our chapter over there. As you know, it's a, it's a global technical company's um, uh, HQ place. So, and we are getting a lot of uh, emails every day from different people saying that how much they love what we are doing and how they can contribute, how they can support us in a way that they can. So I'm really, really delighted to see this um, 
this from, from people and I would like to thank every, every single of you here uh, coming and joining us. Before I finish, I would like to do a little survey online. So I, I suppose everybody has their mobile phone and if you can browse to manti.com, I'm going to change the survey. This is a live survey, so this number of people who participated. So when you browse to menti.com, it will require a code, so you can enter 1483.01, then you will be able to vote for this question. I mean, these data are really, really uh, important for us.
And David is one of these people who just makes all feel so inadequate with everything that he's done. <laughs> so much so that I'm actually